Next up on our agenda for tonight is Blue Stream Corporation and Ken. So if you want to come on up to the front here, we're going to get you started. Thank you, and thanks uh, to Venture Forum for having us here to introduce you to Blue Stream Corporation. Uh, we're an IoT platform company connecting and protecting valuables. And let's start by saying, what, what's a valuable? So valuable things are things we love, things we buy. And uh, in our case, we're focused on those things that are affected by humidity, temperature, or motion. And here's a, uh, an actual product. There's several products in the back of the room that are on the market now. Google Play Store, Apple Store. And Michael, don't move my bag over there. Don't move the bag. OK, so I said humidity, temperature, and motion. And Michael just touched my, my briefcase. And I've got all sorts of notifications here on my smartphone about that. So Blue Stream. We're excited to be here tonight. We're focused on the valuable space. What's the real problem that we're solving? It's an interesting dilemma. Suppliers of valuables and consumers of valuables have different needs, but they actually really want to talk to each other and have a valuable relationship with each other. But there's a gap. And so what we've done is we've actually solved both problems by connecting the supplier to the, the consumer and by protecting the valuable as a valuable or a, a benefit to the consumer all on the same platform. So how does it work? What you see here at the bottom of the screen, if you work from right to left, is that there's a valuable item, a Taylor guitar. And Bob Taylor is the owner of Taylor Guitars. And he would tell you that they're woodworkers. They're not software developers. And when we met him, he said, I really want to, my guitar to talk to me. And so what we provide is a sensor technology, which is in that guitar, an app platform that you can see the, the smartphone bridge pushing the data up to the cloud, and then the data analytics and smart learning from all that data to build a better, higher value relationship from the, the supplier, Taylor Guitars, or any other supplier of valuables, back out to that consumer. And it's all about the data. So we have data here that suggests every time that guitar was moved, it's probably being played. And so we will provide back to the consumer some education about cleaning, polishing, and would they like new strings, and provide that value back to the partner. We're on the market. Last year uh, was our first commercial year. We delivered $550,000 in revenue to our partners. Uh, we have a portfolio of products that's expanding and building on top of the sensor, app, and data platform. And uh, first quarter of 2017, we just came up about just under 400 grand in revenue. This is a big opportunity. There's actually in these target top 10 markets that we're focused on, there's a billion valuables out there. And the, the focus that we're on, on the people who really care a lot, we call them the enthusiasts, subset of that billion have $1.5 trillion worth of things they care about. And so we're really excited and passionate to help the supplier and the consumer build that digital connection. And if they spend a little money, $20, $25 a year on that relationship, this is a six to eight billion dollar market for us to start with. Out there, what are the choices to our suppliers and consumers? Well, the suppliers could go to a third party and they could build a custom uh, solution. But most of our current partners actually came back from that journey to us and said, after years and hundreds of thousands of dollars, they really wanted a configurable, off-the-shelf uh, system that gave, uh, gave, we provide them with the branding ability and with a, a simple tool to, uh, to apply the brand right to, uh, to our, our platform. And then the consumer, they could get a, a sensor, but it doesn't close the loop by providing strings, providing humidity management control systems. We have an awesome team. I want to mention uh, both Bob and Mike are WPI alum. And TAN, the TAN network at WPI has been outstanding to help us. And then the other three of us are serial entrepreneurs. 
Where are we today? And as I wrap up, we are uh, delivering this year's revenue and building the scalability process into what we're doing. So next year becomes the breakout. We're raising about a million dollars in capital now, uh, and we're excited about what we see happening around us. So in summary, I want to say thank you. And you know, Bluestream is an IoT platform company. We're partnering with the industry leaders to expand their business through that e-commerce and to uh, provide a, a protection app to the consumer to protect what they love. Thank you. Thank you, Ken. Well done. Awesome job. So judges, feel free to ask away now. Can you talk about more applications for how you're protecting valuables, like more use cases? Sure. So let's start with music. Uh, acoustic instruments are susceptible to temperature and humidity. And some guitars, and most of us at the company play, uh, some guitars have bowed because there's too much humidity or cracked because they're too dry. And there was not a sensor that talked to your phone wherever you are in the world that would have prevented that problem. In tobacco, so we're gonna, I'm going to talk alcohol, tobacco, firearms, music, all the good stuff. Uh, tobacco, uh, you know, good cigars, people are connoisseurs of cigars, and, uh, and they use humidors. And the humidor is supposed to keep the cigar at a very specific humidity. And so we're partnered with humidor suppliers in cannabis and tobacco, and we're partnered with the people who supply the pouch you put in the, the um, humidor in order to maintain that humidity, and when the humidity starts to drift down or up, we automatically inform the end user who then buys, presses a button, and is able to buy the new humidity management package. So there's a couple of examples. Can you talk through the unit economics? How much does it cost to make? How much do you sell it for? And who typically pays that cost, the supplier or the consumer? Yeah, we can talk about that. So we, our, our gross margins are about 60%. Um, we actually, because of the guys, designed this board from the ground up. This is not, we're not OEMing a, a product in and paying top dollar for somebody else's system. This is all built from the ground up. And so I would say our margins are very good. And we have a lot of headroom uh, to build around the business plan. By the end of this year, uh, as we, this year we're investing uh, in, on the team, but by next year we have a, a profitable business model going forward. I'd prefer not to share with you the cost publicly of, our, uh, of what it is that we're doing. The, on the street, you can buy this device from Taylor, and we're co-branding Bluestream. It's powered by Bluestream for Taylor guitars, powered by Bluestream for Bovida, powered by Bluestream for all of our part, we go after, we're going after the largest players, and this is about $70. You can buy the sensor off um, Amazon right now or up on the, on the web for $50 as a standalone sensor. And you get the app, you get the platform, and you get a lifetime subscription to the notification on humidity and temperature. The motion, because Michael touched my bag, that's a, a subscription model that we have so that as you, what we call pinpoint security, you have some valuable things around the house or out RVs or out in the, the places where you, you might want to know if somebody touches them, then that, that's a subscription model. Can you talk about the, the form factor of the device? I'm imagining this sort of inside a guitar or, I mean, <laughs> objects can be large or small, a handbag, jewelry, whatever. So how big is this thing? So Bob will go to the back there and hold one up. Uh, but, but it's a great question because our patents are about the form factor to not disturb the valuable item. Temperature, humidity, and an accelerometer motion detector all on a small form factor with a weight uh, restriction. So it's light enough that you can stick it right inside a very valuable guitar or some other valuable item and it doesn't disturb the use of that valuable. It's a great question. And we have a couple of patents in process right now, uh, and one of them is specifically on that, on that area. So when you do partner with a supplier like Taylor, for instance, um, and, and they market it well to their customers, what is the take-up rate? So if 100 Taylor guitars get sold, how many people have been buying this to go along with it? Great. So we don't have that data yet. Um, they're, they're, you can go online to taylorsense.com, S-E-N-S-E, -E, and see the amount of work that's gone into making this launch you know, as professional as they want it to be. Um, but we don't have the data yet on that, on that, um, 
on their launch or any of the other guys' launches. We supply to them tens of thousands of, of our product has been put into their channels, and they're now going through. It's a very complex uh, delivery mechanism through retail all the way up to guitar centers and such. But it's tens of thousands of units are now out there, and, another, and, and tens of thousands more are already in production right now for this year. I think what, he's giving me the hook. What's your toughest challenge that you see ahead? So the toughest challenge is actually uh, it's, it's resources, both financial and human. Uh, we are, we're on the move now, and we tested a whole bunch of things because someone who has a guitar also has wine, and they might have a firearm, they might have an RV, they might have a, and the next thing you know, we're being pulled into a whole bunch of markets that we can't get to right now, and we don't have the development team bandwidth to address what we think we could do. So this year, 2017, is to set the concrete in for that plan and then go raise more capital to scale. All right, so let's thank Ken one more time. Well done. <laughs>